Hey, Earth sign, what is up? Welcome in to February 24th. We are looking at your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What is going on for you guys? General read. So let's see what story we can pick up on today. What's going on? If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, check out your moon um, or rising signs or Venus and see uh, what's what. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you. <laughs> I can't get away from this card today. Seven of Pentacles. Um, you've planted a lot of seeds. Planted a lot of seeds. And um, let's see here where we go. It feels very free to me. This feels super free. Somebody it has some expectation here. Wheel moving forward. There's Virgo energy here. You could be doing that. Um, there's a block. Aquarian energy, judgment. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's see how this overarching energy of this reading. Eight of Cups. So someone uh, could be walking away from you here. Somebody could be walking away. This is somebody who is uh, deciding what to do. Uh, Fool, Two of Wands, Page of Swords. I don't feel like they, they have enough information. I think they might... Uh, be more impulsive and just, you know, walk away. Okay. Um, you guys have spent, you guys have, uh, invested a lot of time in this relationship. Okay. And I feel like, um, hermit energy here is hampering any communication. I feel like things are changing. The universe is going to move whether you move or not, I think is immaterial. I think the universe changes. Okay. So three of wands, wheel, hermit, um, being very focused on your fortune. This is Jupiter expansion energy. You could be very focused on your work, focused on what's right in front of you, what you're doing. They are too. Okay. There's sort of an alignment here, focused on your work. They're focused, right? The two, you know, really looking at the light. What do they want to do? Kind of a similar energy there. Although the hermit is really um, not necessarily making any decisions. They're looking at what they want to do or what feels or what is um, on their path and learning from what's going on here. Very curious about, um, very curious about the path forward. Okay. What, what is happening? Three of wands looking out to the um, horizon, expecting things to come to them. The hermit could be somebody who, doesn't really, this is very passive energy. Okay. Um, earth sign, you could be, you or the person you're dealing with here could be super passive and the other person's like enough already. Can we just move forward? Okay. So there was this going on in the recent past Two of swords here. No talkie about it. No communicating. Nothing comes in. Nothing goes out. Okay. Um, what's happening is an awakening though. Uh, star and a judgment card here is very spiritual, spiritual awakening, healing energy here. Lots of good healing energy and reconciliation coming. All right. I like this. Um, this is a very good, yeah, because there's been some disappointment here. All right. Fool energy, disappointment. This person um, loves you. This is a very, very good soulmate. Very good soulmate for you, Earth sign. Um, five of Cups, Two of Cups, Six of Cups here. I feel like in the past, because of this quietness, this person could have felt really rejected by you. And they've been, you know, investing a lot of time and energy into this situation because they know your soulmates. And they could just be like, well, I don't know what else to do. I'm just going to walk away. I don't know what else to do because you're not moving the hermit is, is not communicating. Okay. But when we get the star judgment down here, page of pentacles. So it's likely earth sign that you will, you will open up and make, um, some kind of offer. The thing is though, whether you do or you don't, the, there's a lesson here about self love. And if someone is waiting to be loved by you, earth sign, um, they learn that they need to love themselves. Okay. That's a big learning for them. 
you also are, you know, you find this person valuable. You might have put them on a pedestal. They might have put you on a pedestal. There's a lot of fantasy going on here, right? This is very, very much up in the spiritual, you know, and, but let's not forget, there's been not a lot of communication here. Two of Swords. No talkie. That's the junior high priestess. <laughs> no talkie. All right. Let's see what happens because this really is a soulmate um, connection. So let's see where we go. Earth sign. Link is below for the extended. I'll see you over there.